Hi, this is a short tutorial on how to create a new email account in cPanel. After you go to your domain name, whatever your domain name is, uh, mine's techsmith.com, then you add forward slash cPanel, uh, all lowercase, you'll enter uh, and then log in. You'll see a screen that looks a lot like this. cPanel's great, uh, um, many features, we won't talk about that now. We'll go straight to email accounts. This might look different, by the way. Um, uh, you know that you can drag and drop these in different places, and I put this here. I don't think this is the default location. I think it's further down the page. Anyway, you find email accounts. Uh, you can always there we go, and then, but we'll show you how to do it the proper way. Email accounts, and then bam, they know that. Uh, um, you know the most common function about email accounts is opening a new e email account or creating a new one. If you have uh, subdomains or multiple domains under one account, you need to choose the proper domain, add an email address, add a password. If you use something lame, it will tell you that it's very lame and very insecure. Uh, it, I would recommend it nothing over, under a 50 for that score. Um, but anyway, you can always just use this too. Um, and it'll automatically insert into you in both boxes there. You see they're the same. Anyway, and then uh, the next step would be to change this to something more reasonable. Uh, that's, that's just 250 megabytes, that's just too much. If you have four or five accounts like that and uh, they start leaving their emails on the web server and fill up their account. You could very easily go over your allocated amount of disk space for your web hosting account and get your whole site, you know, automatically um, suspended, um, and that would be bad. But it's better to uh, the way to get around that is uh, for one, use lower limits, um, and then um, make sure that your um, the people that are your employees or whomever it is that uh, is checking using this email account uh, um, doesn't keep all their emails on the web server. All right, that would be bad, bad policy. Um, anyway, you do that and then you create an account. Account created, look how fast that was, that's down. Yeah. Do that, Microsoft. Um, anyway, and uh, the next step you'll probably wanna do, uh, uh, you could be, that's it for creating a new email account, you're done. But the next step you'll probably wanna do is, is either tell someone else how to set that up in their email client or set it up yourself. And for that, you're going to need some specific information about this web server and about this email account. You can find that email information right here. It has everything in it except right here, except that password you created. Okay, you know, so it's important to write that down on a piece of paper or put it in a text document or something. Personally, I keep a spreadsheet with all my passwords in it. And, uh, and there you have it. Uh, um, this is how you set up a new email account in cPanel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.